All right, we're back with some more Sparking Zero gameplay footage. So yesterday I was not able to get to this gameplay footage specifically, but there's a couple of videos uploaded thanks to Globku and Rhyme Style. We're going to go ahead and take a look at those videos. And, I, you know, I played Sparking Zero, the demos, multiple times in the past. I mean, I have literally like 200 plus hours of footage on my channel. And while this is a new build, I kind of have a good feel for how the game works. So anything I could see and point out definitely will uh we're gonna go ahead and react to this live right here i have not seen most of the footage here uh again thank you this is glob whose video thank you so much for providing us the content and of course we also do have ramsdale's videos we'll take a look at after this might be like you know close to 40 50 minutes of gameplay specifically so that's really really cool um kefla and ui goku's unique dialogue right there is really sick to see all right let's see how things go on to that aura first off looks sick oh my goodness that aura is actually crazy crazy and that is i believe that's the kamehameha sign is what that move is called yeah right there you see there's even greater potential you'll never beat me kamehameha sign and then um you'll never finish me sign i think that's what it was called so okay there's the perception right there flash sign actually is what it's called kefla got hit with the or actually kefla hit the perception and she did it again right there uh and she started getting some combos and a little bit of sidestepping there's perception as well kefla did again do the sonic sway some ai i feel like really spam the perception and it seems like Kefla is a character that's definitely not, like, immune to that, right? AI love to really spam that perception. Beerus, when I was fighting Beerus, really love to, like, get perception used a lot. So, uh, Kefla got a little boost right there with one of her attacks. Again, those attacks with the boosts, I didn't really find too dramatically good. So, this is the finish sign right there. Okay, so this is the movie used against Jiren. Looks pretty good overall. Kefla got knocked all the way down right there. Uh, you'll never beat me. Okay, that's really good. I assume that's the you'll never beat me now. That giving you full sparking mode is really good. Sparking mode is quite good in this game, of course, right? Oh, UI Goku's um, wait, let's let's go back here. Well, first thing I want to make a point. Sparking mode in this game is really good because of the fact that you're able to like there's a dash that you can do the homing dash, of course. And if you just hold square when you're doing the homing dash, what happens is you actually uh just do like this combo where there's like your aura flaring around and you just continue to combo that. And the opponent can't really escape that unless they use a move like explosive wave or something. So they could just if they if there's a character that doesn't have that kind of move set you they like lose like a a bar or two of health right just from that alone in sparking mode then you can knock them down and do your ultimate and just like finish them off sparking mode could be very dangerous in this game so having an option to go instantly into sparking mode without being interrupted uh, especially online will be a really really good thing to see and of course i think this right here is ui goku's perception uh stance right there which is a kind of like you know i think it was the manga reference actually right there so that's really really cool to see as well all right, but let's continue on here. Of course, perception doesn't work against Key Blast. This is the same move right there that we just saw, but against Topo this time. Um, uh, in the future, I would love to see Topo gameplay. Actually, no, this is the ultimate point blank Kamehameha. My bad. Wait, let me let me take a another look at it because at first I was disregarding it. So that is the ultimate right there. Again, the ultimate uses your entire you know sparking mode, of course, which is why you want you would like to ideally prioritize getting some hits in before because the sparking mode will give you like increased buffs and things like that, right? So that's good. To see um it seems like goku actually i think he got a buff from using the point blank kamehameha did he not right there yeah see no he did actually have a buff before which was that the power up to the very was that the um you'll never beat me right there i think that was when he used the you'll never beat me then he got actually powered up yeah because he says there's no way you can beat me now and that did use three bars so we see that is indeed that move just just to be 100 percent sure that was that move indeed uh but again we're back here with the ultimates i uh, just wanted to get a second look here because it looks really good and again keep in mind ui sign is his own separate like character from ui goku you can transform through ui sign into ui goku but you know they're all kind of separate slots right so i don't know i assume assume he might transform into ui goku here i'm not 100 sure even greater potential that's what this is so that just gives a defense and offensive buff right there again those buffs i don't think they're necessarily anything crazy then i give him key 
let me take a look here actually just to be 100 percent sure uh even greater potential gave him no it gave him it gives him bars of key that's what that does okay because he already had that buff from before uh the attack and defensive buff from the other attack okay so there's the emotes right there by the way you could set emotes actually if you guys didn't know we, we knew about this for a while but you do have the ability to set emotes uh if, if i just click a look here you have the ability to set emotes here uh you know we'll see what emotes that could be sent in the future i mean <laughs> if you're on pc and then there's like you know um mods added there could be the potential of like the i saw someone was like please mod in the gritty and that would be hilarious first off right but um yeah the, the moves i get three bars of key i think could be useful as well right you know key i think in this game is quite important i mean you use key dashing already uh, you just already see you almost use like two bars of key just from dashing away topo switching the jiren we saw a little bit of topo's destructed like you know clothing right there Okay, Jiren's giving him kind of the hands a little bit right there. And that was the revenge counter, I believe, right? Yeah. So, Globku did use the revenge counter right there. The one thing about the revenge counter is that I actually don't think it's really that good from my experience with it. And from other people's experience with it as well. Uh, the revenge counter is not really that great. Um, and you also see right there, for every health bar you lose, if you weren't aware, you do actually gain a stock, right? So, you see the stock's at 2. Jiren's about to get Goku to the next health bar, and he gained a stock instantly. You Every time a health bar is lose, you, use, you do end up gaining a stock. So, you're able to get stocks relatively quickly during the, like, length of a fight, right? Um, especially if you're losing. The, the revenge counter, it just took... Like, you see, you could react to that. Like, the, from here, from right here, all the way to here, you're able to react to that. And that is a couple of frames. I've seen people uh like step in to completely avoid it <laughs> there are there's the super perception where if you use perception uh triangle circle on classic and then you um end up like doing that against the revenge counter you get hit with a super perception as the person who does the revenge counter so i don't know that right there is a uh, knockback using uh, i think that was not using perception i freaking one or two of the uh actual like mechanics i forget the names of because they changed all the names from them and yeah um so okay he looked up the controls right here okay uh again this is just basic stuff we i kind of already know myself so i might just skip ahead here there's a transformation panel and he just goes full spark mode again okay that's perfectly fine right there and we see the we already seen the ultimate so i might just skip forward here just so i could see more of the gameplay itself okay so this is how it looks like when you're locked off of the opponent and you can't actually find where they are uh switched into gt goku who actually when switched into gt goku was actually able to lock on uh, i think that's just because of the angle the character switched into so this is the this is the dragon fist i believe you use right here the base kid goku dragon fist right there which is pretty cool because you know seeing more dragon fists in the game is nice i would assume like okay we did get confirmation that the uh normal super saiyan 3 goku his dragon fist does now work on giants in the previous betas it are uh, i said betas but like in the previous demos where like you know me dbz scales and other players went to um that dragon fist did not work but now it does work against Giants. I'm assuming this one obviously is not going to because it's not like he has to start off with a kick specifically. Um, so here's a little bit of GT Goku's combos right there. Uh, getting a little overpowered by the mashing with the bot, right? But that's perfectly fine. All right, here's a transformation. Are we going to see Super Saiyan 3 or Super Saiyan 1? Super Saiyan 1 right here. Looks pretty good to me. I do like uh, how this looks. It is interesting that they don't have Super Saiyan 2 Goku in here. But, you know, it's not, not that big of a deal, right? At the end of the day. So he has... What is he have? Full power, energy blast volley, wild sense could be good. Uh, full power, yeah, dude, actually, this is pretty good. Super Kamehameha, uh, wild sense, full power, then energy blast volley, you know, I guess it, it could be useful. I'm not sure how good that is competitively specifically, but I think those other attacks could be really useful to have in terms of competitive fights. Saiyan Spirits, high tension, super Kamehameha, energy blast volley. I think Saiyan Spirit is a buff. High tension either saiyan spirit or high tension one of those are the full power modes essentially so that's good right we can go into the sparking mode and then what the other one gives a buff which is like okay <laughs> uh so super saiyan 3 goku here he has a dragon fist huh okay that's actually really cool they just gave him the dragon fist okay 
into the Kamehameha. Yeah, that looks really good right there. Obviously, that was, I think, a move he did in GT against Super 17 specifically, and that's how Super 17 lost. We see that he'd be able to transform into Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Transformations cost a certain amount of stocks, right? Um, But beyond that, like right here, you, you could transform into Super Saiyan 4 Goku right now, and that's what he did. I think it just, actually, it might just be one stock specifically, but you could transform into there, which is pretty cool. All right, uh, at least from Super Saiyan 3 to Super Saiyan 4, I believe it was just one stock specifically. Again, the more transformations, the more stocks it'll take for you to actually power up into that mid fight. All right, and hit got the dodge right there. Okay, baby, that was a weird, really weird angle, but baby came in. Baby, a character we haven't seen gameplay of. So it's R is pink. You know what? We'll take that. We like we like the color pink. Color pink's pretty sick. All right, ooh, Goku came in there with the little kick oh the times can come at me hard that i think kind of connected baby was being knocked back um how much damage did it do does it actually so i think that did connect because if we take a look here yeah that definitely did connect and did about half bar damage um well close to health bar 90 92 000, right very close to health bar okay which again if you didn't know 10k hp or 10k damage is one hp bar right 10 10k hp essentially um all right, lots of vanishing, lots of Dragon Ball actions going on here. Oh, actually, let me take a look at his move list as well. Uh, so I could just like have a little like look at it. So instant transmission, all I need is five seconds times 10 Kamehameha and a meteor crash. So meteor crash times this Kamehameha, you know, they're just your uh, attacks, right? Kamehameha, then meteor crash is like a melee attack. Instant transmission, I think, could be useful in certain situations. I'm not sure what the all I need in five seconds is going to be, though. Like, is that like a full sparking mode power up? Is that like, you know, just a buff specifically? Oh, they added this effect right here where you're at max gauge. It's like a little fiery effect right there. I don't think that actually adds anything specifically, but um, I do like the effect right there. So, again, the lock off happened again. Uh, this is the meteor crash specifically looking pretty sick. Yeah, that's everything that he did against baby right there that looks really good okay i'll beat you in five seconds it's just buffs mm, okay that's fine though you know <laughs> i will we'll take it i mean if super saiyan 4 goku had like a full power ability you know he might actually end up being really good like imagine a full power plus like into transmission which i think could 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 be solid oh that that's the dragon fist right there yeah I mean, he, he's, like, so saucy, dude. Uh, like, I, I can't, like, I will say he just still just looks very saucy. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are, the, did they change how the instant transmission looks? No. So, we're back to UI Goku, actually. Okay. Uh, I think he's going to get the UI Goku finished against Kefla, probably. Um... Kefla just de transforms. Okay, we, so that's base Kefla. We hadn't actually seen base Kefla before. So he's just charging in front of her. Uh, I think, yeah, there's the auto dodge. So UI Goku actually does have auto dodge, by the way, if you guys weren't aware. Um, I think he auto dodged some of these blasts, if I'm not mistaken. Let me take a look here. Yes, yeah, so, and actually, no, I don't think he dodged some of them. I think he, did he use his key? No, he didn't actually dodge some of them. Um, but he has an auto dodge. So she went to back to Super Saiyan 2. Okay. I, well, I don't know what the point is. Oh, there's the dodge right there. <laughs> yeah. So key blast can hit, but the attacks themselves don't. So what you probably would have to do with UI Goku is start off with key blast and then start your combo if you can. But UI Goku does auto dodge right there and it does use up key. There's uh, the normal UI Goku instead of UI Sign. He also has the same ability as well. Keep that in mind. So UI Sign Goku with the full Gi looks so good. And that was a manga reference to transformation. Woo! Okay, I didn't even... Okay, wait. What is his move list specifically? Ultra Movement, No Backing Down, Ultra Kamehameha, and Ultra Barrage. That was the Ultra Barrage we just saw. Oh, I'm interested to see what these two are. Ultra movement. I wonder if that's going to be like a like instant transmission potentially, where you just appear next to the opponent. That could be interesting. Um, I unfortunately don't think we'll really see it because Hit doesn't have that much health, and then the not really a lot of bars. So that's Ultra Kamehameha. You know, just just the Kamehameha, right? Um, again, I would really love to see. I guess he's gonna show the ultimate off here, huh? Okay, what does his charge look like? Yeah, dude, his charge when he's just doing that, ah, it just looks so good in the R and everything. 
So what is the ultimate called, actually? It's Supreme Kamehameha is what it's called. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we see you, we see you. Um, I had a miss. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll get it again. We'll get it again. So he's waiting for that bar, and there it is right there. Okay. The Supreme Kamehameha. I have not seen this just yet. Oh, yeah, that's just from the fight against Jiren. Yeah, okay. That's good. That looks good. Please tell me he, like, charges it up and just screams. Yes! That's what we want to see. I think there could be a little more expression right there. Like, especially with how it happened in the anime, though. I will say. Um, hopefully this with three bars is, like, a full power mode. And I think this... I mean, imagine if this was Wild Sense. Just, like, rear names. <laughs> that would be good, I think. Um, that's for sure. Oh, Baby's still here. Oh, we, we might be able to see more of these attacks here, specifically. So there's a little bit of UI Goku strings right there. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I like how they look for sure. Um, like aesthetically, it looks pretty nice, pretty fast as well. But you know, we'll see when we actually like get the full game how exactly it looks. All right, let's try to use one of the stock moves, please, Glob. I beg you, please pass, Glob. Use one of the stock moves, please. I would love to see them. Ah, man, there's, I feel like there's so many things I have to see specifically for this game. No, he switched back to Super Saiyan 4. Oh, no. I mean, sure. It makes sense, but dang, I wanted to see some of those stock moves. Hopefully, some of the other gameplay we could see has that. Man, this video is already 16 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Okay. Um, 60 minutes. <clears throat> Six seconds. That's crazy. We still have some more gameplay here. The Globku video, this might have to be its own. A video then i have to make a, another video for rhyme specifically so here's super saiyan 4 vegeta specifically right here oh we also were able to see some of the stages um or this is the bgm right the bgm there's a lot of bgm you can actually have anime background music for this as well which is really good so here is super saiyan 4 vegeta versus cooler specifically let's go this will be over in a flash dokkan reference uh sorry i'm brain i'm brain rotted with dokkan and here's cooler i'm not as soft as my brother okay coolers talk 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 bro <laughs> uh okay uh I, sound, I feel like i sounded like a parrot right there dude that was crazy so i love how cooler looks looks really good so far i would just yeah he has a purple aura they gave the super saiyan fours the golden aura actually hot take i know a lot of people really like the red auras super saiyan fours had but i've always liked how gold looks with super saiyan four um rather than the red aura so right there was perception uh okay we see some of cooler dang cooler is putting hands in him bro fight back no <laughs> okay oh super saiyan 4 vegeta has explosive wave Ooh. wait let me see explosive wave costs two bars now i hope it's for every single explosive wave because in the previous ones explosive wave costs one bar and explosive wave is really good like really really good it's, it's a get out of jail free card out of like most situations so it costing only one bar with the amount of bars you could build up in this game is kind of crazy like we're not even like a minute into this match basically and you already have three bars bro like bars you could build up really fast here um finish shine i think that is just buffs that is not like you know a full power mode final flash and spirit breaking cannon okay that's fine and here's the final flash specifically uh you know final flash just looks good as always right we'll definitely take those we've seen a lot of different like final flash attacks from different characters um they did go out of the way to try and make them each look unique so that's cool okay janemba just like opened him up with the sword right there that's crazy to slash his eyes out bro you are not like like i should run for super saiyan 4 goku okay putting a little bit of, whoa what just happened right there yeah you know this uh the guy <laughs> Give my guys the game is not gonna be perfect when it comes out there will be some visual stuff at the bare minimum that will happen right so all right looking pretty good there um so this is the spirit breaking cannon i didn't miss okay so i guess maybe it doesn't really have tracking right there. that's what it's called right the spirit breaking cannon yeah uh i guess there's no tracking the oops i didn't mind you do that okay that's fine though um yeah well <laughs> sucks to suck i guess some of, the, some of these moves just won't track right <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is okay so vegeta is charged up all the way to six bars i wonder if um i don't know how it wasn't like the exact number he was for bt3 for the dp system um i wonder if the system in here if because he's not a transformation it's super saiyan 4 vegeta is a standalone character though i assume they'll add like the base vegeta and super saiyan gt vegeta in the future 
honestly like as dlc i'm thinking we'll see like a, a gt dlc pack with like super 17 you know that vegeta real dope add in like i don't know gt trunks or something gt goten like let's just put in a bunch of gt characters okay broly just like do he glob is getting knocked around oh no he's almost dead wait <laughs> oh no vegeta i think vegeta died i think i think he died right as he switched in oh that is unfortunate i'm like fairly confident vegeta got knocked down right here yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh dude I, I i i wanted to see more super saiyan 4 vegeta oh no he's back here okay 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 wait super saiyan 4 vegeta does make a comeback wait wait a minute okay we there's broly's attack right there that he just instantly whiffs um that's cool okay that was gt goku's grab huh okay okay wait let, let's see that grab right there yeah looks pretty good looks pretty good we love to see it i uh, just restarted because super saiyan 4 vegeta was dead <laughs> okay <laughs> you know what that's fine that's fine that's fine i think they probably have the cpus on one of the more harder difficulties right i feel like the cpus at the demos weren't necessarily like hard hard but you know they could like throw hands at certain situations some cpus also felt like weirdly more powerful than others which you know I, i'm gonna say i say i say that but it was like beers gogeta blue and Full power broly is like well duh it's gogeta and broly you know you know what i mean <laughs> um haruta gardens right here okay about a blast vegeta in the face with his flames okay oh okay that's his key blast right there that looks pretty sick actually i do like that haruta and the giants are in the game the angles are kind of weird though i mean that's kind of to be expected being fair oh that connected Oh, okay <laughs> uh kind of connected uh dude it looks so like the the hyperbolic team chamber it looks very cloudy i don't know like when he's so far away he's like you can barely see that boy right there right it looks it, it looks cloudy cloudy for some reason isn't that kind of weird does he have explosive wave bruh hirudgo has explosive wave right there is that what that was i think so <laughs> that's actually so funny his aura well i guess hurudagarn is like a ghost maybe it's is it a hurudagarn thing no it's just a stage thing or maybe it's the capture um because the capture is kind of faded right uh, i think the colors are are kind of faded at least from what they look like in the trailers but maybe it's the trailers that are edited to look more vibrant i i couldn't tell you i could not tell you um okay let's see some of these other vegeta moves come on come on let's let's go uh, yep there it is okay there's a little bit of perception right there knocked him back okay now we should probably see the spirit breaking cannon yep there it is okay sweet and boosted all right how does this look like all right there's the big kick and that doesn't really seem like a cannon to me but sure all right use I, I, yeah I, well I, to be fair i'm pretty sure finish sign is just buffs so not really a point in necessarily seeing that we might as well see the ultimate here which is the final shine attack right there yeah that looks good uh, i do like how the final shine attack looks Keep in mind, do not throw the blast in uh, open like that, though, uh, if you can, just because I feel like if you throw the blast in the open like that, you're going to basically never connect it. You, you need to kind of like connect into it with a combo, which I'm sure most people know, but they will. There will be like at least one or two of you who will be like, I'm going to try it anyways, and then you'll fail, you know. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I definitely don't recommend that. Uh, so here's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta gameplay specifically. What is I had actually no, we did see this move list. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Wild sense power up to the very limits. I believe that is the uh, that will actually give him full power if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, actually, I think he literally did that because the fact that we had well, actually, they fused, so they only had one bar now, huh? The fusion looks pretty good though, that's for sure. And uh, the ultra big bang kamameha i assume we're gonna see right here which we already saw plenty of it i mean against giants you probably will have an easier time like throwing out the ultra big bang kamehameha just a little bit but again that's me saying that i haven't the only giant i used was grady vegeta he felt very uh, there's a weird word to use like lethargic <laughs> he felt very just like slow to me i, I didn't like how grady vegeta felt so that's just the normal Kamehameha, the Big Bang Kamehameha. Garlic Jr., wow, we hadn't seen any of him. Okay, we love to see it. You know what, Garlic Jr., Garlic, I'll be a Garlic Jr. main. You know, if he's good, we'll take it, we'll take it. 
Dude, why his? <laughs> it looks like he's wearing jeans. <laughs> like the way that the, his jeans, like his pants are mounted, it looks like he's just wearing like jeans, dude, from far away. That's actually really funny to me. That move looks like it sucks, but I don't know. Maybe I could be completely wrong. You know, who knows? It just has like no range. But then again, beams in this game are very skinny anyway. So I think, I guess ideally you want to connect off Gamma anyway. So it probably would connect, but it didn't really look like it had like, you know, any necessarily potentially good tracking oh his aura is red actually that's pretty sick garlic jr with the red aura okay okay bro i see you all right here comes my ultimate attack and that is it. okay it does connect right there because he did it right before now this looks pretty cool right there use one of the stock moves i dare you it's just the big bang kamameha that you could charge up okay I think he guarded it though. He blocked it. Garlic Jr. blocked Gogeta's Big Bang Kamehameha. That's crazy, actually. Uh, that was the revenge counter right there. I, I want to, you know, I want to see like a, all super perceptions. I think that'd be a really cool like, thing to see specifically. Because super perceptions, I believe some of them have unique dialogue and footage, right? So that'd be cool. I think, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else really to see from here per se. I mean, we kind of saw a lot of his moves, right? We saw, like, a lot of his different strings and how Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just looks at a basic level. Uh, so that is the power up to the very limit right there because that used the three bars right there. And it gives him a bunch of buffs, actually. Okay, so, you know what I mean? Power up to the very limit and giving him those buffs on top of the sparking mode you know we'll take it because I, I of course the most important thing is the sparking mode but getting the buffs too like it, it is it is still an addition like it's not gonna be like something crazy but it still will add on to it how much damage does this ultimate do uh it does twenty four thousand damage with that uh buff up right there yeah okay i've found ultimates usually do about twenty thousand damage like you know ranging like 15 to 20k damage or so so gogeta with the buffs doing 24k does match up with what i've usually seen in the past specifically with ultimates damage now i think you know when it comes to like their melee combos and stuff like that these characters like super saiyan 4 super saiyan 3 you know super saiyan blue will end up doing more damage than like you know base goku of course that's, i think that's just how the game actually operates in fact from what i heard from people saying dragon ball super characters in general just did more damage in terms of melee combos than like you know z characters as well i don't know if that was fixed and i didn't like look at the exact numbers myself but based on what some people were telling me okay this angle looks really weird with the hyperbolic time chamber with the sparking mode i do like the skies are, are dark though when you're in sparking mode like that um that looks pretty cool but the angle it, it looked a little weird the angle but that just that's just the sparking uh not the spark mode the uh, hyperbolic time chamber looks very interesting just in general right there Ooh, this is janemba's move right there okay i don't know i forgot i think that's the um probably gonna be called like mouth canner or something stupid <laughs> oh he did it again oh wait oh he vanished okay okay i see you ready okay well there you go um <laughs> the way he plops on the ground is so funny I assume we'll see the rest of the Herodogarn shenanigans here, but nothing really much else we have to see. Oh, did he die? Oh, he died. Oh, okay. That's what happened. Herodogarn windscreen. Okay. Well, technically it's a lose screen, but you know, that's pretty cool. Um, this video is already 30 minutes long. I probably will just make the rhyme style video a separate one. Cause I feel like if I do that, it'll be like an hour plus. And I think keeping it at a clean 30 minutes will be good. Um, but let me know what you guys are thinking about the gameplay for Sparking Zero and, you know, my kind of thoughts over it. What I think some things you noticed maybe that I actually did not. Maybe I'll have just two separate videos, maybe a video tomorrow for the Rhyme style gameplay as well. There's a lot of gameplay coming out. So because uh, Rhyme's video specifically, we could take a look here are, you know, this is 26 minutes and this is 24 minutes. This whole section right here was OK. There was 16 minutes to 37. So that's about 20 minutes. I don't know. Um i'll try to I, i'll try to make the right video shorter but uh yeah we're, we're gonna end this one here let me know what you guys are thinking again thanks for watching i got a shout out to globku and then rhyme i will react to his videos later uh probably um, maybe i'll have it up later today as well i just want to get this one out i'll catch you guys next time peace out